Hey art friends, we're so excited to draw with you today. And in this lesson, we're drawing something really cool. A peregrine falcon. Yeah, diving. It's gonna be awesome. You need your drawing supplies. We're gonna use a pencil and a marker. You also need some? Some paper and something to color with. Yeah, all right, you ready to start? Yes. Let's use our pencil first to draw the general shapes of our falcon diving. Okay. We're gonna draw a big oval for the body right in the middle of our paper. But actually, first, let's draw a guideline, a diagonal guideline, starting here and going up to the top right corner. I press kind of hard so that our art friends can see on the paper, but you can press lightly at home so that it's easier to race at the end. And also, let's draw a different guideline, a little bit more here, and aimed right towards the corner. Oh, okay. That way you'll have more room over here for the wing. Next, let's divide up the different proportions for our bird. So right here, we're gonna draw the shoulders or the top of the body, and it's upside down because it's diving. So we're gonna draw a, another diagonal line that crosses that middle line, the midline. Yeah, that's the shoulders. And then the top of the head or the beak is gonna be right here at the end of our line. Now let's come up here and we're gonna draw the bottom of our body. So we're gonna draw another line. So we split it, it's about this much room in between. Yeah, and then up here, this is the end of our tail at the very top. Now let's draw the oval for the body. We're gonna start and draw the oval in between these two lines. So we'll start up here, and I'm gonna draw it about this big, curve around, and then back. You can go back over it if you wanna change it, make it a little wider. I made mine a little wider right here so we can erase the other line. Now anytime during this video, if you need extra time to complete a step, remember you can always pause the video. You can even rewind the video to watch the step over again. Now let's draw our tail feathers. We're going to start here. We're going to draw a big upside down U. We're going to come up to there, back down, and then connect to the body. Yes, I'm going to go back over, maybe make it a little wider. Up here at the top, we can also draw the center of the tail feathers coming in and back up. So that it looks like two upside down U's when we're all done. Right here, let's draw the body feathers going into the tail. So I'm gonna start here on the outside of the oval. We're gonna come up in the middle, connect to that midline or the center line, and then we're gonna come back down to the other side of the oval. Nice. Now let's draw the letter U for the head. We're gonna start here, draw a curve coming to the end of the line. Now this is gonna look like a different shape U. We're gonna start here and we're gonna draw a diagonal line that really just curves and connects to the body. So we got kind of a curve going in the same direction, one for the top and one for the bottom. Okay, now let's draw the mouth. We're gonna draw the hook of the top of the, the bill right here. Then we're gonna curve or hook into the center of the line, the, this middle line. Then we're gonna draw a straight diagonal line coming down, whoa, looks like a diagonal line, but it's coming straight down. And then let's curve into the bottom of the head. Nice. Now I'm gonna make the top of my head a little bit more curved, like that. Now let's add the eye. I'm gonna draw a circle first. I'm gonna draw it kind of close to the beak. About this big. What's our bird missing? The wings. Yeah, wings. Now we're gonna draw them tucked in because it's diving, so it pulls the wings in close to the body. Let's start next to the head, and we're gonna draw a curve that really goes all the way to the tail. It's so cool, and I love drawing that. I drew it kind of fast. Now at the front of this curve, let's draw, kind of looks like a U shape or a letter C. Then we're going to draw a line, a diagonal line that comes all the way up to about the middle of that curve. Now from the top of this curve, let's draw the top of the wing curving up higher, and then we're gonna come down to a point. Mine, mine is a little bit thicker, so I'm gonna make it smaller. 
Oh, that looks awesome. I'm going to erase this line that's out further. Now let's draw one more detail line. Right here, I'm going to add a curved diagonal line coming up. And then let's erase this curve inside of the wing. Now let's draw the wing connecting to this outer shape or the outer edge of our wing. We're going to start on the shoulder or the neck and we're going to draw an upside down U connecting right there. Then let's draw the bottom of the wing. We're going to draw that same shape but bigger up here. Now let's repeat those same steps that we did here, except for the other side. We're going to start by drawing that big curve, but we're going to draw it going the other way. So I'm going to start here. We're going to draw the curve coming all the way up to the end of our tail feathers. Then let's draw that U shape down here at the front or the bottom of that curve. Then right here on the top of that curve, we're going to draw a, another curve that comes to the middle of that first one we drew. Then let's come back down to this up to the other side. We're going to curve out further and then back in to a point. What was the next step? Do you this remember? Diagonal line. Yeah, the diagonal line that we connected there. So we'll start maybe right about in the same spot and then we're going to connect to the outside. This wing looks a lot thicker than this one. I'm going to make it thinner. So I'm going to go back over and make it a little thinner. And then we can fast forward, but I'm going to erase the outside line. So it's not as big. Then let's erase the inside guideline. We can also erase this shoulder line right here too, if you want. We're going to go all the way through to the other side. Then let's connect this outer shape to the body like we did here. So let's draw this upside down. We're going to start here. We're going to draw an upside down U and then connect. Connect it to that outer shape. And then let's also draw this line over here also. We can draw it come up and then connect in. Ooh, we can even curve the other direction too if we want. Let's erase the center guideline next. So this one going all the way down the middle of our falcon and also through the middle of this, this part, but let's leave the center line through the tails. And then we can also erase the outside edge up here on the tail feathers. Oh, and then this line too. Let's erase that. And I'm also erasing this line that goes through the beak. All right, Jack, we've finished drawing all of the main shapes to our falcon. We can put our pencil off to the side and we're going to switch to our, our marker. And let's start by drawing the head first. We're going to start here and let's draw the top of the bill. And let's just trace over the pencil line for now. I added this little, we want to make sure that there's a hook in the front of the bill. And then also the bottom of the beak. So we can draw that upside down V right there. Okay, now right here at the front, let's draw a little curve going in front of the beak. And then right here also, let's draw the back of the beak curving into the head. Then we're gonna connect it to the mouth. And right here, we can also add another line for the bottom of the beak. Okay, now let's Color in the eye, the circle, and I try to keep it kind of small. Let's also trace around the eye like this. Kind of a football or leaf shape. Now let's draw the top of the head. We're going to trace over the pencil line, come back into the shoulder. Let's also connect the beak to the eye. And then the back of the eye, we're going to connect all the way to the back of the head. Now let's draw the cool pattern on their head. We're going to start here at the beak or the inside of the mouth, and we're going to draw a curve that comes down the neck, then a little 
straight line up. And then we're going to draw this kind of weird shape. We're going to draw another line coming in. And then we can draw coming up and then back down. And then we're going to draw this coming all the way up and connecting to the top of the head. That's a cool shape. Yeah, it is. Now let's draw the bottom of the head or the neck and just trace over the pencil line. Let's start up here and we're going to draw the top wing first. We're going to start by drawing this upside down U connecting all the way to the end of the wing here. And then let's come all the way up here. I'm going to add a little bump in this wing. So right here. And then we're going to add a little bump coming back and then stop there. Let's draw a few feathers right here. We're going to draw an upside down U, but we're going to draw a couple of them and connect them and maybe stop right about there. Then we can draw another row of upside down U's on top of that. We're going to keep adding rows of feathers until we come up to this pencil line. I'm going to draw now this last row right here. I'm going to draw all the way to the pencil line and each feather. I'm going to just go to the pencil line and that's it. We don't want to go past the pencil. Now let's draw this line coming up and then we can draw it coming back down and connect to the edge of the wing. Cool. Now let's draw these really long flight feathers. So we're going to draw this line. Then let's come back here and we're going to draw another line right next to it that matches, but then stop at the pencil line. We can even come to the, to the tip right here to the end of the other line. Now let's repeat that same step and draw another flight feather all the way up and then connect it in. I'm going to keep adding those lines until we fill in that shape. I'm going to add a few more of those upside down U's or the feather lines filling in this shape. Now we're ready to repeat those same steps on the other side. Let's draw this curve coming all the way around. I, w I keep wanting to say shoulder for that line, but I don't think that's the that's shoulder. shoulder. <laughs> I think the shoulder's over here. Yeah. And then we're going to draw this coming all the way to there. And then let's draw these feather lines right here. So we're going to draw upside down U's coming over. We could even just, I'm going to connect to that other pencil line to keep it a little easier this. I'm going to go all the way up till I get to that pencil line and then match the pencil line so that the shape of those feathers follow the guideline. Then let's do the same thing on the other side going all the way and filling in this shape here. Let's trace over this pencil line and then we'll stop right here. Then we're going to come back here and we're going to draw the flight feathers for this wing. We're going to draw this curve all the way to the end. Then let's leave a little space just like we did over here. And we're going to match that same curve all the way to the end and then connect it. Then let's leave a little space just like we did over here. And we're going to match that same curve all the way to the end and then connect it. Let's do another one right next to it and then connect in and then just fill in the rest of that shape. Now let's add the rest of the feathers on the inside of the wing right here. We're going to draw really tall upside down U's for the first row. Then let's add another row really tall feathers. This next row will be different. Let's come up here. We're going to start on this row, curve up, and then back down so it matches that pencil line or the guideline. Then we're going to leave a little space, come all the way up, and draw another one back down. Let's just repeat that same step until we fill in that shape. 
Now let's repeat that same step over here for this wing. We're gonna draw those really tall upside down U shapes for the feather. I'm gonna add one more row. We're gonna draw those upside down U shapes for the wing, and then add another one. There you go. And then for the last row, we're gonna do that same thing. Start here, draw a feather that comes up and then curves down so it matches the pencil line. Then leave a little space, draw another feather, and fill in the rest of that shape. Well, I love drawing feathers. It's one of my favorite things, actually. <laughs> I well, I love drawing birds. Yeah. There we go. Good job, Jack. That looks awesome. Thank you. Now let's fill in the body with more feathers. We're going to start here, and I'm going to draw that same upside down U, a bunch of them connected all the way over across the chest. Then let's draw some really big feathers right here. And I'm gonna draw them individually. So there's one in the middle. We can draw these overlapping if we want. So we can draw more to, on the left side and then complete the right side also. Then let's add one more row. I'm gonna draw a big feather right in the middle and then overlapping feathers next to it. And the same thing on the right side. Now let's draw the talons tucked up inside of the body. Right here I'm going to draw, it's going to look like a feather. And then inside of that upside down U, I'm going to draw two more lines. Let's do the same thing for the other foot. So an upside down U, and then I'm gonna draw two lines inside for the talons. Nice, now we can fill in the shape next to it with feathers and maybe in between the talons, and also on the right side. Now right here inside of this upside down V, we're gonna draw really long feathers that make up this shape. So we're gonna fill in the right side like that. Then we can maybe add one right in the middle, and then I'm gonna add another feather on the left side, like that. Oh, it looks so cool. Yeah, it does. Now we're ready to draw the tail feathers. Let's start on the outside. We're gonna come up, trace over the pencil line. And then before I get all the way to the top, I'm gonna draw this one a little shorter, and we're gonna come in and then trace down the middle. Now right here at the end, we're gonna add another tail feather that's tucked in behind this one. I'm gonna add one more, but this one will just stop right here. I'm not gonna trace all the way down the center. Okay, let's repeat the same step for the other side. We'll trace up the pencil line, across, and then down. Then let's add a few more feathers behind this one just like we did on the other side. Jack, we did it. We finished drawing our falcon. It looks awesome, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yeah, it's gonna look so much better colored in. Now this part, we are going to fast forward some of the parts, but we'll also take time to talk about the steps that we're doing to add the texture. Now before we color it, let's switch to our eraser and erase the guidelines that we can still see. Okay. Now we're ready to color. We're gonna use our biannual markers to color with. If you have the same set, the colors that we're using, or the first color we're using is WG01. Now if you, you don't have to use the same markers that we're using. You can use colored pencils or even crayons or paint. This color is a really light gray, but it's a warm gray. So it kind of looks brown. We're gonna color in the entire bird with this color first. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. We've colored in the main part of our peregrine falcon and the underside of these birds is really light yeah. and it has this cool texture. So we're gonna add that a little later, but I also left the outside of the wing white because we're gonna darken that in. The outside of the bird is super dark. But before we do that, we're switching to our yellow, Y204. Let's draw around or color in around the falcon's eye. 
have this really cool yellow border around the, the eye. Then let's also color in the center part of the beak. And we could also add a little yellow on the bottom part too. Okay, now let's come up here and color in the talons. Oh, that makes them look really cool. Now you can see the, yeah. the feet a lot better. Now we're ready to switch to our dark brown and we're using Y762, this is a really dark brown. And let's color in, in the front of the beak, on the top and also the bottom. And then let's also color in this shape. And we're gonna color in the top shape on top of the head and also the shape below the eye. This is so dark, it almost looks black. Now let's color in the outside of the wing. So I'm gonna draw a line that kind of divides the outside of the wing from the inside. And then we can just color in just a small portion of the wing right here, going all the way. And we could even color in maybe some of the flight feathers too. The inside of the wing is this lighter color and then the outside is darker. Let's do the same thing on this wing too. So I'm just gonna draw this bumpy line and then color in the outside shape and some of these feathers and then also some of the flight feathers, maybe just two or just one. There we go. Okay. Now let's add the texture to the tail feathers. Right here I'm gonna color in these outside ones and maybe down the center too. And we're gonna add a little tip to the other tail feathers. And now let's add a stripe or a pattern going down these tail feathers. So there's the first little stripe. And I'm gonna add another one right below that one. And these can get smaller too as we come towards the body. <laughs> I love coloring. <laughs> Seriously, it's so much fun. I'm gonna add little stripes here on the side. Ah, oh, it just starts coming alive. Yeah. Now, right here on this little triangle shape, I'm just adding little stripes or little, almost looks like small little dots, but they're really small. So we just wanna add little texture lines to those feathers. Okay, now let's draw the texture lines in here. So I'm gonna go on each of these feathers, but look, I kinda of made that same shape the same upside down U shape. Then I'm gonna leave a little space and draw another line, color in another texture stripe right at the bottom. And then let's repeat those same pattern lines over here on this wing. Gonna add maybe just two stripes on these feathers on the right side. Now we're gonna add that same stripe or little texture line on the body feathers. And we're also gonna add another row right there. Now we're gonna just repeat that same texture on the next row of feathers. And I'm also trying to curve them so that the body of our falcon looks a little more 3D. Now let's add some of those lines right here on the inside of the wing and then also on the other wing too. Let's also add little stripes on the flight feathers and you don't have to make it look exactly like mine. You just change them so that they look natural. So I'm adding a little zigzag to the line so that it looks more natural like feathers. Now let's add shading to our bird. We're gonna to switch to WG03. This is still a warm gray. So it's kind of brown, but more gray. And it's darker than the first one we used. Let's add a shadow or a layer just right here on the inside of the wing. Maybe even one of the flight feathers. And I'm gonna add a little shadow right here too, on the part that's connecting. And then let's add a little shadow right here on this part that is connecting into the head. Now let's draw a little shadow underneath the, the head on the neck. And we're gonna come around and connect to the wing. Next, let's add a shadow on this part of the body. So I'm gonna start here on the neck and we're gonna draw the shadow going all the way to the top of this triangle shape. Let's add a little shadow on the inside of this wing. Just right here. Oh, we can make it a little thicker here too on the wing. 
There we go, that looks awesome. And I'm also gonna add a shadow on the outside of these flight feathers right here. Then the tip of the tail feathers are a little darker, so let's add a shadow up here. This actually isn't a shadow, just the feather is darker on the tip. Cool. Jack, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our peregrine falcon. I love your drawing so much. It looks so much better colored in. Yeah, I hope our art friends will take time to color their drawings also. You could even add a background. Yeah, you could color in the rest of the paper blue. Oh yeah, and you could also do this on a bigger piece of paper and maybe even draw a smaller bird that it's chasing. That would be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> we hope you have fun drawing with us. Yeah, remember, it's okay if your drawings look different than ours. Both of our drawings look different and they both turned out awesome. I'm sure you're your drawings look really cool too. The most important thing is to have fun and to practice. Practice. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.